Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. I hope you are liking this series. So today we have some interesting questions, but uh, Mr. Praveen asked this question. These four questions asked in some random questions for interviews. So I'll planning, I'm planning to create four videos for this, but today I'm going to check this one, the second one, the how does the get title method works? It's a very famous interview questions. You know that driver.getTitle method will give you the title of the page, equivalent into document.title and it will give you a string and then you are printing it. But the question is that how exactly this method works? Which type of API? Is it a post call? It's a get call. And can you please debug the Selenium code accordingly? So I'll show you the code as well. I'll show you how exactly this method is working internally, which API is getting called. So before we start, this is the W3C standard web driver um, uh, documentation for APIs. And then what exactly you can do is you can check the get title method API over here. And here you will get all the information about this. I'll share this URL with you guys. Here you can see get title method is HTTP method is get call. So internally it is using get call. It's passing the session along with the session ID and then the title that you have to pass in your path parameter. And it's saying this command returns the document title of the current top level browsing contest equivalent to calling document.title as I told you. And these are the steps internally it will follow. If everything goes fine, it will return the success response with the data title over here. Let title be the result of the calling algorithm for getting the title attribute of the current top level browsing context active document. What do you mean by this? For example, let's say this is Flipkart and then you inspect uh, for example, you can go to the page source or right click on it, go to inspect also, you can get it. And then here, the title will be picked from head, not from the body. Title is always part of the head tag. Remember this thing. So just open this head and then slightly scroll it down and you must see some title over here. So let's see, let's see, let's see here. You can see the title and this is the title of this flipkart.com. The same title is visible over here, right? So you have to explain all these things. For example, let's say I'll go to Google. And for Google, once again, you see the head and body, you open head and then here you see the title over here and whatever the value is return, available here, it will return the same value. This is what and getting the title attribute of the current top level browsing context from the active document window. So this is the basic documentation. Internally, it is a get call uh, with respect to the web driver API. And this is a path parameter session ID that we have to pass of the Selenium web driver server and then the title. Now let's see how exactly internally it works. So I have written a very basic script. You can see I'm launching google.com and getting the title on the page. So it's very simple uh, method, but the interviewer is more interested about, okay, uh, maybe you have to debug the code or maybe you have to tell uh, how exactly it is internally working, which method, where exactly this method is available and tell me about everything about driver.getTitle. So here you can see it's getting printed on the console. So first you explain like that, okay, yeah, this is a internally, it's a get call like this and let's try to debug it. So first of all, we are able to access with the driver reference. It means this method is actually <coughs> a designed or available inside the web driver interface. And we know that inside the web driver interface, we don't have any method implementation. So let's go to this uh, get title method. Here you can see the method implementation is not available. This is a basic documentation is available like that. And here you can see this is my a web driver interface here, which is extending the search context. It means it's a remote web driver responsibility to implement this method. So let's go to remote web driver, uh, click on a command or control uh, from your keyboard and then go to open implementation. And then we will go to the remote web driver. And here you can see, yeah, this implementation is available here. And this is the execute method that we have to use it. So, and it's saying, okay, this is what a driver command dot get title. So driver command is another interface that they have given and all the static uh, math, uh, variable they have given. So this is the uh, static variable key that they are using it, which is equal to get title over here. So they have created a number of uh, static constant strings over here. So let's see. Um, we will come over here. We'll go to this particular method and let's see how exactly this method is implemented. Just for your information, guys, I'm using uh, the latest Selenium Java version 4.0.0 RC1 that recently released on 6th of uh, this month. I'll do one thing. I'll come back over here. And then I'll go to this particular method and let's try to debug once again. So I'll start from the beginning once again, go to driver.getTitle and then open the implementation. And then you have to go to the, not to the event firing web driver. This map, uh, this is almost gone. This is deprecated. You have to go to the remote web driver. And uh, from here, you have to uh, come inside this method here. The, you can see that this is my remote web driver dot class. 
and then here you have to go to the execute execute method is calling this particular execute method right so now from here we have to do what this method is getting called so then we will go to this execute method and then this method is available again inside the remote web driver this method is very very important you can see this is a method body from here to here after that uh, this is a response that they have created one reference and then uh, coming inside a trap lock i'll show you in the debug mode also and then executor dot execute method they are calling it so they are creating one command service over here with the help of this particular command so there is a simple pozo is available you can see they are maintaining one session id and the payload like that because we are using the uh, uh, rest api so we have to create a command payload and everything and then we are going to call this particular execute method like this and then this execute method is available inside the command executor interface and now this method has to be implemented somewhere now this remember this method is implemented under a driver command executor so you have to go to this particular class now you can see this method is available and now this method uh, first come over here if this condition is satisfied and then again this condition is not satisfied with the quit it will go to the else part and inside the else part this method invoke execute method will be executed let's go there and then again it will call its super class method so let's go to execute method uh, which is available under http command executor class again it will check it is not equal to this it is not equal to uh, this also new session is fine command is equal to uh, not equal to equal to null it's nothing like that and then it will encode the http request while sending the request to the server at first it will encode the request and then it will add these uh, header content type and everything and then from there it will come inside a trap block i'll show you the debug mode also don't worry about that and whatever the response that we are getting from this method so it will call client.execute method and sending the http request and then this method will be executed once again so let's see where exactly this executed method is implemented so this method somewhere is uh, implemented uh, over here under http client interface okay so that we can no need to you know deep dive into it and then what you do when you execute this particular method you will get this particular response and when you get this response it will check if it is not equal to null like that and then it will set the session id and then again it will come over here and it will return the response right so let's debug this code and let's see how exactly it is working so i'll do one thing that uh, i'll put a debugger at one line number 139 over here and then i'm going to run this entire code in the debug debug mode so debug as java application so first it will stop over here and uh, or let's that's okay this is interface method so we cannot put a debugger and uh, go to remote web driver and let's put a debugger over here as well okay let me just terminate that and let me execute in the debug mode once again and then i'll show you step by step perfect so fine so here you can see that okay fine let it run so we will go to the just let it run because first it will initialize the driver and everything and then it will launch the browser so let the browser launch and this is a browser got launched here and then keep pressing f8 from here keep clicking on f8 because internally there are many methods that is actually calling now the google is launched which is perfectly fine and then here it will come inside the get title method which is available in your remote web driver right and then we will go to the next executing method so now it is coming here which is coming here it will create a command perfect and then i'm running run by run line by line now okay perfect this is fine it is creating some thread id setting the thread set name which is fine and uh, here and then at line number 547 uh, this method will be executed so let's go inside this particular method see this method got it started and in the command we are passing that okay fine this is a session id that we are passing and the as a payload we are passing the complete session id and the payload perfect and it's having the get title a method that okay we are looking for get title so let's keep running it and this is fine this is again fine which is not equal to this and then invoke execute method will be called and then this i'll just put a debugger at line number 164 perfect now it is coming here it will execute this method and then it will come over here so i'll directly jump over here by pressing f8 perfect now this is the same command that we are passing to this method and it will check it is equal to equal to null no it is not and the new session that is new session is equal to get name see this get name is if you mouse over on command 
the get name is get title so again this condition is not satisfied so it will not come inside over here so let's see it is coming directly over here your command codec or response codec is not equal to equal to null so perfect not come inside this and then it will encode your request so see this i'm going to create a http request now so selenium is internally using http client apis you can see http request is actually coming from uh, http remote http client apis and then the http request in the encoded format it is created now you can see this is an actually a, a get call so that's why i told you right the title see exactly same session id we are using it same path uh, url that we are using it so this is a get call and you can match it over here as i told you session session id session id is a variable part and the title that we are using it's a get call so that's why when you mouse over it is hence proved that this driver.get title method is implementing internally with the get call this is your session id session and the title that we are looking for perfect and then we will add the header so let's add the header content type json utf8 so this is the application json will be added and uh, perfect and then we are getting a response here see now this is the response that we got it the response is 200 and the value is equal to google and then these guys they will parse this particular value some json parser or something like this so this is a json response that we got it and let's see the response again we are going to decode now this is the final response in the decoded format we are getting it so that's why whenever you're executing any api so this is your response equal to session id uh, is null state is zero session id is gone that's fine we are not bothered about that and uh, set the session id now finally it will come inside the else and now the session id is set it over here this is a perfect response that we capture and uh, then it is not equal to quit and the return the response now the return will start return back to this guy return back to this guy return back to execute and then return is not equal to null the response is not equal to null and the response dot set value to value and then finally we will get the response from here from this method and then again back to this and then again back to this and then finally back to this remote web driver method so this method we called it right and now we get the response in the response reference over here and this is the final response that we captured and this is the session id and this is a complete json response that we captured not exactly in the form of a json because we have a uh, encoded and the decoded and the normal value like this in the response object and then from this response object we are getting the get value method over here it means which value this is the value attribute i need value colon google so we will take that particular value so now the value is equal to what a google and then it put a condition here if value equal to equal to null it's not null then you return value dot to a string it means just convert this value object to a string value so that's why we are getting a google over here and then we will give this a google to print ln method and then it will be printed on the console like that so this is the final output that we are getting it perfect so this is how guys a uh, driver dot get title method will work okay so if someone is asking you this question you don't need to remember all these methods and everything but if someone is saying that okay hey we are going for face to face and uh, can you please debug this driver.get title method you have to show it it always gives a great uh, impression at a time of interview to the interviewer that okay yeah this person knows about in and out about how exactly selenium is working and he knows how exactly a uh, selenium code is designed which method where exactly the implementation and all such things but i would expect at least you are giving certain basic information about that specific method okay so there are various methods you can see that refresh method refresh method is a post call back and forward it's again a post call like that if you really want to close the window see this it's a delete call it's again switch to window is a post call it's a very good complete w3c documentation is available i'll share this documentation url in the description of this video please go and then check it over there so this is the answer for the second question please subscribe to the channel share with others if you are liking it there are a lot of uh, in-depth coverage we will be doing how to present the answer how to give the right answer for that okay these answers will be slightly lengthy from my side and then you always try to explain uh, crisp and clear what exactly they are looking for everyone knows okay fine driver.get method will give you the string but the question is that how exactly it is working internally that is how you have to give the answer and you have to be different from others so thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and please please subscribe to the channel god bless you all